Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about the actors in Shift. This actors concept is already implemented in other languages like Python, Java, long days ago. But Shift has introduced it recently. To overcome the data race concept, this Shift has been introduced uh, uh, actors in iOS 15. So let's see what is data race first. So, so for that, I'm just going to open an uh, Xcode and just going to create an object. So, okay. So, let's consider there is a refrigerator in your home and there is an access for the everyone in your home that they can go and take their uh, desired items from the refrigerator. So, if you are going and taking an uh, items from refrigerator and in same refrigerator, if some other go and see means that particular item will not be there because it has been already taken from taken by you from the refrigerator. So, but when we are doing it in concurrency way, like uh, this will this will go in, go into the uh, pro process of uh, following the data race. So, let's see what it is. So, for that, I'm just going to create a class class. In the name of refrigerator so this is going to be have an uh, variable array items which is of type string so this is going to have milk drinks vegetables Come on, chicken. I like chicken very much. So chicken. Okay. So this is uh, some of the array items that is that particular refrigerator is uh, having. So I'm going to create an another function which I'm going to get all the list from the all the items that is presented in the array. Get items from fridge. Refridge. So yeah, just I'm just going to return array items. Okay. So in the return case, I'm just going and having like array of strings. That's so go. I'm just going to create an another function to get any items from the uh, array. So for that, get item. Okay, so I just created another item. This is going to return a string. So first, I am just going to get a RAND value to retrieve an, uh, any items from the array. So RAND value of type int. This is going to of type int dot random value, which is going to take from zero to to array items dot count. Here we go. So then I'm just going to get an objects that is presented inside an array items. So I just get a rand value. Okay. Next uh, thing I'm just going to remove that particular items from the rand value. Yes, we go. And I'm just going to return this particular uh, uh, value that has been taken. here we go so i just written over that so here i can get take like get item get details instead of items so that will be appropriate manner okay so so i just created a class which is owning an array of items which contains a refrigerator items like milk drinks vegetables and etc so in a next thing i have created an items where i have just uh, returning all the items that is presented inside the refrigerator and next comes to like i just get take and ran value of index and i am just retrieving that particular value and removing that particular items from the refrigerator and returning that particular item so here we go it's very simple so in in an, i'm just i uh, return this in inside the view controller so i'm just creating going to create an object instance for the refrigerator of this is going to be equal to refrigerator and i'm just going to allocate the value for this and here i'm just going to return array of uh, take one item and object dot take get 
details from the refrigerator so first it will retrieve and value from first it will retrieve all the array from uh, retrieve any one of the item and after that it will return the items that is presented inside uh, the things after it's creating the value but here it's very simple you can get through but when we are going for a concurrency manner this is going to be create and data arrays so let's create that so for that let me go and create an uh, dispatch queue dispatch group dot global dot async so here i'm just going to print item taken is so i'm just going to print this here here we go and next i'm just going to be an another group and i'm just going to print it over here okay remaining item here we go it's okay so i just uh, going to take one item from the fridge and after that i'm just going to retrieve all the items that is presented inside so i'm just going to create it's asking me to self and please remember when we are doing you don't uh, create a strong reference this may affect for testing purpose i'm just uh, using the uh, self so i'm just going to run this and let's see what's uh, output okay so here you see like the items taken is milk and the remaining item is milk drink vegetable and chicken you see there's a race condition so this particular thing is called race condition because i have already taken a milk but still uh, the fridge is uh, saying me like it has a milk element in it so i'm just going to run another time and let's see what's the output is okay this time it's taking a drink but still now the fridge is saying me like there is a drink available in a fridge so this is totally wrong so this particular uh, cases is called race condition here we see the race condition so to overcome this race condition previously traditionally we have used like barrier dispatch queue to resolve this problem but that are more difficult to understand and uh, there can be a error because those are manually interpreted to overcome this particular issue shift has introduced an actors to resolve to resolve this let's go and fix with the help of actors so for that it's very simple so instead of this class we are just making this particular uh, uh, object this particular uh, instant as an actor and uh, when we are try to run this so this takes a compiler like actor is a method that can be isolated referenced of the main actor so you see like whenever a particular object is named under the category of actor then the compiler will think that it has been a concurrent process and so it has makes the compiler to uh, tells like it has been an isolated uh, property so when we say an isolated property so that the comp when multiple threads was try to occur the same instance or same uh, shared property so it will makes one at a time so it will make only one instance to uh, access the objects and rest of the instance will be wait and uh, once the particular instance particular instance or thread is completed the other thread will ca taken over the uh, uh, objects so this is how it has been designed so for that what we need to do is like to resolve this issue we need to create an keyword called wait i have already created a vi video for how this await is working in ios so you can uh, see around in this i will keep an uh, description in a below so okay so this particular things has to be taken under care of task instead of dispatch async so i'm just going to create a task for it so in the task i'm just going to print it so let me remove this and i'm just going to create an another task and just i'm just going to remaining the things okay so i just created a two tasks now you see like you can you can uh, issue as result now if i run the build let me run the build and this time you can see like okay i have just missed the minus one okay
yes so this time when i when i try to run this object you can see like the item is taken as drink and the remaining item that is presented in milk vegetable and chicken so this states like so whenever uh, concurrency process that has been occurred on a shared instance still can get the retrieve the value very easily so to to it's 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 very simple just making an class to an actor is very simple but there are some difference between an uh, uh, class and actor that you have to see is like they are more or like same but here inheritance is possible where in class and where in actor the inheritance is not possible and it support concurrent uh, accessing and class is not allows the concurrent uh, accessing so with the help of actor you can achieve this uh, output very easily and it's very clean now next thing is like i'm just have i'm going to have an uh, objects that is that is let uh, let's take it as welcome message so this is going to of type thing hello actor so i am just i'm going to try achieve this value retrieve this value this instance and if i if i run this if i if i try to retrieve the welcome message it says like async welcome is used in a contact and does not support concurrency because when I, when we created and this uh, welcome message this is of type let so this intimates like this value cannot be changed so this cannot there is no reason for having an actors because actors are usually a variable because then only a, a value can be accessed by different kinds of instance or different kinds of thread so for that we can tells a compiler like not isolated keyword so by this keyword this comp this knows like that the particular uh, object is not be an accessed for any other thread so it cannot be changed so when we once we have given this when we try to access this welcome now welcome message now this time compiler won't give any uh, error or any uh, intimation in the warning so this is this is what uh, uh, non isolated uh, things and there is somewhat important thing that we need to see in, in, in actor is like so when we are going for a dispatch group and uh, when we are going for shifting from background thread to main thread and the, at the time we will be making an uh, labels or we will be making an ui setups in a main thread only the reason why we are doing an uh, main thread operations we are doing an ui operation in a main thread is like that will be a more uh, complex one so that compiler will get given high priority for that and uh, when plotting of the pixels it will be more uh, comp heavy complex so that always when we are uh, doing some uh, ui related works we always do in a main thread but now a shift has introduced an another concept like uh, uh, main actors so for that i am just creating the world update ui so this update ui so i have already have a label in my uh, view controller so this is going to of type main actor okay so like consider when we are going for an uh, updating a ui we used to use dispatch q dot dispatch q dot main dot async so and we are using call and you we used to call this self dot update ui but instead of doing this we can resolve we can, instead of doing this we can make this particular uh, function as at main actor at main actor yes so this tells a compiler like this particular uh, uh, object is going to of type uh, main thread so whenever this uh, whenever the calling this update ui function this is going to be called in a main thread only so instead of having every time in a dispatch to q dot main dot async code we can just make that particular function as main actor and it will get updated the labels uh, in a main thread only so this is one one of the other important thing that we need to focus so you see like you ca i can see the label here so i have already have in uh, an uh, main dot file i have already have a label so that label is printed out here so let's summarize what and all i have what and all we have learned today so first thing is like actor so the actors are used to to uh, 
avoid and dead race conditions when when concurrent operations were done to the single uh, a shared instance so for that only actors were used actors was introduced in, in the uh, in ios 15 and the replacement of the actor that we have used traditionally is like a barrier queue but using of barrier queue that uh, i think like uh, there is in some error may be occurred because those are manually interpreted and like uh, we have a concept like a non isolated one uh, th- the those who are values who not be changed or considered as a non a non isolated one and values that has been shared instance are considered as an isolated uh, atomic one and next comes to the actor versus classes so actors have an um, concurrency uh, uh, in, in, in concurrency task but uh, class doesn't support that actors uh, doesn't have an inheritance but class have an inheritance and to update a new ai and update and everything in a main thread we have, we have introduced a new concept like main actors that we have to follow so that's all about this video and this is all about uh, the basic informations of the actors and uh, i also recommend you to watch an another video which i have created for async wait and if you see that video I means it will be more clear for you and i hope like you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video bye bye